What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. This is Rorik here bringing you another Sniper Victory War recap. Here in CW Premiere we end up against Wiener Pencils. As you can see, we got the perfect war. 100% to 99.54%. Unfortunately, their last few attacks didn't quite go in. They had a 99% one star. And yeah, as you can see, we are currently on a five perfect war win streak here in CW Premier. We perfected Knight's Temple and we perfected YOLO mode, but they also perfected us back. Then we perfected Holy Reapers and then Epic 102 last weekend. And now we in a pencils and we broke their perfect win streak. They now are now they went from 8 0 to 8 1. And yeah, very, very exciting one. We'll also leave links in the description below showing the two live streams from yesterday and today. So definitely check those out. The ending of the war was insane, worth a watch. And yeah. All right, as you can see here, the last hour of war in the war events tab. We got Snore taking our one star defense. Then our number one got tripled. Then Snore unfortunately got a 93% two star. Then he took another defense, one star 2%. Zykor got a defense, 94% two star. Then Snore got the triple. Then they, they tripled Snore, finally. Zykor tripled number five. Poem went in and dipped the Town Hall 11. By then we had already cleared all the 13s and then they got an 84% two star and a 99% one star. A heartbreaker attack right there. But yeah, as you can see, 805 to 103. Let's dive into some of the attacks. Alrighty, guys, we got Sam going in on Atomic Kiss, going in with the Queen Charge Lalo. So, starting the Queen around the 8 o'clock area, and come some loons on the top side there, creating that funnel. So, gonna bring the Queen in down here. That is the goal in this raid, King down the bottom there, clearing off the funnel as well. So, trying to push the Queen in towards that Wizard Tower. Got to jump over the Eagle Artillery Compartment, and in we go. Going to pop that King, King ability here shortly. CC Troops come out. There goes a Rage on the Queen. Looking very good so far. Takes care of the Clan Castle Troops. King is getting a decent value there. Creating that nice funnel for the Queen to go in through this base. Has a jump spell to put down over that Eagle Artillery. So basically the queen is going to get almost half the base. So going to get all the way through here, get the eagle artillery, get the enemy queen as well. Looking at very solid at this point. And in we go, there's a loon there testing for any air mines. There goes that freeze. Probably was trying to get the queen in the freeze as well. Well she dipped out. But either way, got the triple done. Queen's taking out the town hall, and then she'll take the pathing for the jump. There's another rage down there on the queen as well. Looking very good at this point. And around we go. The slammer finally pops. Lalo coming in from around the 10 o'clock area. We'll go ahead with two times the rest of this. As you can see, base is absolute crush. Queen clears the rest of the three o'clock side. Loon's coming in down the bottom, down from the top to meet up with the queen. And it's down to just clean up at this point. A very solid hit coming in from Sam. Alrighty, we got Burden. Brother going in with seven E drags. So suing those heroes at the nine o'clock and coming in with seven E drags. One E drag there on the town hall. Gonna be able to clear that. 
looking very good so far. Another e-drag down here around the five o'clock area, creating that funnel for the e-drags not to pass onto the outside. And then gonna bring the e-drags in through here where these loons are being dropped. And in we go. Five e-drags leading the way around. There comes a the slammer as well. Looking very good at this point. There we go. In we go. There goes the rage spell. Looking very good so far. e drags going to take care of the queen. The warden tome does get popped. The warden also takes out that sweeper. Puts a minion down on that ground expo. Scally spell on the... Uh, the Eagle Artillery, Slammer helps, takes it down, frees up on that top Inferno Tower. In come the bats from up the top, so it's an like E-Drag Bat Raid. Looking very solid at this point, there's so many bats still up. Watch how many E-Drags are still alive at the end of this raid. Very OP hit. We'll go ahead with four times the rest of that, it's just down to clean up now. But there's five E-Drags still alive. Almost all the bats are up and some minions, very OP hit. Alrighty guys, we've got some 12v12 action. We got a Queen Charge Lalo coming in. This is a very OP Lalo hit. So making the, getting the Queen to path down from the 9 o'clock towards the 7, then onto the 8 o'clock. King is down at 6. Gonna clear off all the buildings there and they're gonna bring the Queen in through here. They super will break on this wall compartment. They're like this wall here, but gets this one as well. Very OP Queen Charge coming in from Freezy. And there comes that Super Wall Breaker. Breaks the two layers. Looking at very good at this point. King's getting decent value as well. So the Queen is not going to walk at all. If one more Super Wall Breaker as well, which breaks this wall here. Panel gets taken down. And here comes the other Super Wall Breaker. Looking at very good at this point. CC troops come out. Bunch of archers and a hound. There's not much on the queen, so she'll be able to easily deal with that. Poison will go down here shortly. There it is. Most of the minions are inside the... Uh, the lava pups are inside that poison. And around the queen goes. She's going to dip back out for that storage. Go on to the cannon, then the multi-target Inferno Tower. There goes a freeze on those three Expos. Another Rage down on the Queen. Looking very good at this point. Freeze on the enemy Queen with an Expo as well. Starts Lalo from the top side. Queen does take care of the enemy Queen. Gonna have to pop Queen ability here soon. She's taking a lot of damage. There's that Warden Tome as well. Looking very good so far. Haste in the core of the base. There's that Tornado Trap. It's not going to affect those loons at all. The Hound does pop from the Eagle Artillery. Targeting it. But as you can see, Slammer pops. Loons come out of it. Absolutely crush this base. Very, very solid hit. Coming in from Freezy. Absolutely crushed it. Alrighty guys, we got Ace going on on the number 10. As you can see, four Skelly spells. Probably thinking, what are they gonna do here? So, gonna Skelly Donut, one of the compartments in the core. Let's check it out. Waiting for that queen to jump over the wall. There goes the rage spell. There goes the Skelly spell. So basically gets the Eagle Artillery, an Expo. And a queen with those skelly spells. This is a very close raid as well. Very, very close raid. Came down to time. There's that king and a couple of wizards there at the 9 o'clock. Baby dragon down the bottom there, creating that funnel as well. There's that queen. She's going to create the funnel down the bottom here as well. Looking at very good so far. Creating that funnel for the loons to path around the base. 
is the queen ability. Slam is coming in. And around we go. There's the haste on the haste. Would you drop down there soon? There they are. There it is. There the loons that have come out of the slammer. Unfortunately, he's fighting the sweeper. To get in there eventually to take out those two expos. Is that warden tome? Doesn't get all the loons though. Unfortunately, the warden lags behind. Loses a bunch of loons. Unfortunately. Let's go ahead with two times that. There's another haste spell. No more haste left, unfortunately. So loons slowly go around the base, but gets the buildings down. Very close hit. Guess that last was the tower down. OP loons. The skellies in the rest of those loons. But luckily, there's a lot of pups and minions still up. Absolutely crushed it. It was down to time. Had like a second, second to spare, I think it was. Very OP hit from Ace. Alrighty, time to dive into the 13 v 13 action. We're going to show four hits from the Town Hall 13s. We got Snor going in on Yon with the Lalo. This was a very OP Yolo drone. Check out how much value his E Drags and Heroes get with the Loons from the Slammer. So Royal Champ gets a decent value over here. King Queen working their way down from 12. Getting a few buildings. There's a wizard down there. Elixir pump as well. And around we go. Gonna bring in the slammer and some E-drags on two E-drags on that Inferno Tower. A couple of loons first to tank the Inferno Tower for a little bit. But as you can see, Queen is getting a lot of value. Here comes a couple of loons. There's that slammer. Loons pick up a lot of mines. A lot of mines. I'm gonna put a freeze on that in single target Inferno Tower. There's two E-drags there as well. Here goes the Rage. Holding off to put the clone spell down. And here goes the freeze on the back end of Inferno Tower. There goes that clone spell getting that one loon that's still up. Very solid push so far through the base. Delaying that clone got helped him get a lot more value than he would have putting it down earlier. Very solid. It gets like half the base. OP. Even gets that Eagle Artillery. And in we go with the Lalo. Got no more spells to put down. So everything's just going for a casual stroll through the base. As you can see. Absolutely crushed it. Just a casual stroll. We'll go ahead with two times that just to speed it up. Because all it is now is just the loons. Just going for a stroll through the base. As you can see. Absolutely crushed it. The YOLO Trone just got half the base. And then the Lalo took out the rest. Very solid it. Alrighty guys, we got Poem going in on Zach with the Yeti Bats. So starting off with the Yeti uh, with the uh, the Yeti Bomb in the Blimp. Pulling out CC as well, taking out that Town Hall. A bunch of archers and a hound comes out of the Clan Castle troops. Out of the Clan Castle, so the Queen will be able to take care of that pretty easy. Puts the Queen down up there at the 12 o'clock, healers in behind. Queen locks onto the Hound. There goes that Poison spell. Looking very good so far. Hound pops, puts an Archer down to clear out the ones that are on the healers. There's an Ice Golem down at the 3 o'clock tanking for the King. Wizard there as well. And in we go with the Yetis, Bowlers and the Warden. Couple of loons as well. Tanking for those healers. And it through we go. There's that warden tome. And you take care of that single target inferno tower. It goes down. Looking very good at this point. 
Bowl is stuck on the tornado trap. But that's alright. Base is absolutely crushed. Queen will take care of the Eagle Artillery, the scatter shot. Then she'll make her way forward for some more buildings. She'll get the Arch Tower. Royal Champ coming down to the bottom here. She's gonna die out to the single target Inferno Tower. The Ice Golem comes up, steps in, tanks for that Wizard Tower, and the bats path around this base. We're gonna go for the single target Inferno next. There's a freeze on the Wizard Tower scatter shop. Gonna put another freeze down on it. There it goes. Takes out that Wizard Tower, takes out the scatter shot. Base is absolutely crushed. It's just down to clean up now. Bats OP. And Crow take out the rest of the defense. The Wizard down there at 9 o'clock. Also a minion up there around the 10. Go ahead with four times that. Absolute crush. There goes the Ice Golem Freeze. Absolute crush that base. Alrighty, we got Diz going in against Average Wiener Assad with the Hybrid. So starting at Queen around the 10 o'clock. So gonna path in towards the Arch Tower, Air Defense, get the Eagle Artillery. Got a Super Wall Break in there as well. Looking very good so far. Got that nice funnel created to get the Queen right in there. Here comes the Witch, a few archers and a Hound from the Clan Castle. There's that Poison as well. And here comes that Super Wall Breaker, looking very good so far. Gets that compartment opened up, so we're gonna get this. Gonna get the Eagle Artillery, the Town Hall, the probably the Expo, couple of Expos, Queen Size Ability as well. It so pushes through the base. And forwards we go. Another Rage goes down on the Queen, takes out the Town Hall. Probably gonna have to pop ability here. No, she doesn't. Doesn't have to pop the queen ability. Thanks her way through the base. Here comes that hybrid from the eight to nine o'clock. Work her around the base. King coming down towards the six. Siege barracks down there at the six o'clock as well. Creating that funnel to keep the hybrid inside the base. And then the siege barracks hogs will meet up with the rest of them. There goes that queen ability in the core of that base. Queen is hitting a wall. She's gonna take out the scatter shot. Scatter shot goes down. Let's go. Queen tanks that wizard tower as well. And everything's just pathing around this base. A lot of wizards still up. A few of the miners path to the outside, but that's not gonna be an issue at this point. Royal Champ still has ability as well. Absolutely crush this base. Very solid it coming in from Diz. Alright, last attack of the video. We got Zykor going in on Spartacus with the Drag Bat. So try tried a, uh, a bit, bit of different variety of attacks here at Tunnel 30 meter hybrid. We had a YOLO Trone. We now we got a Drag Bat and we had a Yeti Bat. So a bit of variety. Hope you enjoyed it. And here we go. Gonna Sui the Queen in for the Town Hall. Ice Golem there tanking as well. He takes the long route around though, and then he decides to come back. I don't know what the Ice Golem was on. He was on something. So Queen takes out the air defense, locks onto the Town Hall. Got the probability here shortly to take out the Town Hall. And round we go. Queen won't get too much more after this. She's with the Arch Tower. Maybe that's storage. And then that's about it. Until the single target Inferno Tower locks onto her. Pops that Royal Champ ability. She comes in from the 3 o'clock. Takes out a few buildings for those dragons to path onto the outside. And in we go. There's those dragons. A few loons. The Warden is down. Still has a blimp to use as well. Uses it on the scatter shot compartment over here. Saving four loons for it as well. There's the CC troops. There goes Warden Ability. Making a solid push through the base. And in comes that blimp. Looking very good at this point. Boom. Takes everything down in the core there. Where that scatter shot was. Opening up the compartments as well. Where the blimp landed all the troops. 
And in come the bats from the 8 to 9 o'clock. Making their way through the base. Freezes the wizard tower. Around they go. Looking very good at this point. Let's go ahead with two times of that. Then we're four times. So this is basically clean up now. Very, very solid from Zycorp. Absolutely crushed it. GG. Nice hit. Alrighty guys, it's going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you enjoyed those replays that I showed. I showed a bit more than I usually show because I wanted to try and squeeze in all... Well, not all the 13v13s, but showed at least four of them. I wanted to show a couple of 12s and a couple of 11s still. So stretched out a little bit longer. It went fast through the attacks as quick as possible to make the video as short as possible. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget to hit with a like, subscribe to the channel, and yeah, don't forget to check out me on twitch.tv slash Rorak. I stream most days over there. I uh, also have links in the description below to the live streams from this war. I streamed the last three hours and I streamed about four hours close to the start. So yeah, check that out. I'll have those links in the description below. But yeah, until next time, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.